Line etching was invented some decades after engraving. To make a line etching, you cover the copper plate with an acid-resistant ground called a hard ground. It usually consists of wax, asphaltum and rosin, and because of the wax content, it's not very hard or brittle. When you draw on the covered plate with a hard steel point, you expose the copper without plowing into it, like you do when you make a dry point. The softness of the ground makes it easy to obtain a free-flowing line. When the drawing is finished, the plate is lowered into an acid bath where the exposed lines will start to etch. Depending on how long you leave it in the acid, the lines can be fine and thin or deep and coarse. The plate is covered with ink and the surface wiped clean before it's run through the press. The etch line's thickness comes from the time in the acid. It tends to be uniform in width and end abruptly, not in tapered points like engraved lines. Line etching made it possible for artists and amateurs to make their own printing plates without having to learn the difficult skills of engraving. Line etching became quite popular, but was regarded as inferior to the art of engraving. 